What's going on guys? Today I got some uh, more comic book show pickups. Uh, I think I spent $150 exactly, so I got some solid stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going into it. Um, this is, uh, I really only go to two like local comic book shows. And this is kind of the bigger one. They're both done by the same, uh, you know, company or person. Um, this one they do like every, I think every quarter. So it was a solid show. Um, wasn't like amazing. It was kind of a little lackluster. Um, but yeah, we'll get into it. Uh, got them in order of like smallest to largest deals. Uh, the biggest deal at the end I'll show was actually, um, I'll get to it when I get to it. But yeah, start with the smaller stuff here. Uh, first table, I spent $2. I bought this one book. Uh, just Daredevil 248. One for the run that I didn't have yet. So Wolverine on the cover. I don't know. I thought that was cool for 2 bucks. Just figured I'd grab it. Then the next deal was $13. Um, got three books here. Mark Spector Moon Knight number 31. Kind of a cool cover. Uh, one I haven't seen yet, actually. Uh, realized I haven't like looked through all those covers. Um, then I also found uh, Moon Knight number 2, which is pretty nice. That's the uh, earliest one from this run that I have, the Volume 1. Um, looks pretty good with the figure there. Oh uh, yeah, this was 5 bucks. That first one was 3, these next two are 5. Um, and yeah pretty decent deal some of his stuff was overpriced but got a, found a couple cool books then last one from this deal got this uh spawn 101 pretty cool cover obviously right after the uh, 100 right after the milestone when you get into the 200s the kind of around the milestones like right around 250 is some of the best stuff the 240s and the, the late 250s so yeah that was cool for five bucks so 13 for those three thought that was all right um, then this next guy I spent uh, $20 on. He had Ultimate Spider-Mans for 2 bucks a piece. I actually had to leave some just because it was kind of towards the end of the show and uh, I couldn't grab them all. I mean, these were all $2 each except for the last one was $3. Uh, but yeah, I got this uh, issue number 40. 42. I mainly picked up, the, I just picked up all the earliest ones that I didn't have to kind of keep it under 20 bucks. Number 44, 45, lovely colors on these, 46, 48, so we got issue number 50, pretty cool. So obviously uh, got a pretty decent little chunk of the run here. Uh, pretty pretty excited to find these. 56. And the last one, which was $3, but uh, like I said, I got them all for 20 got a few dollars off. Uh, number three, or sorry, <laughs> number 108. Um, it's the first appearance of Ronin, or Ultimate Ronin. So yeah, that was cool. Which I won't spoil who Ultimate Ronin is, but yeah, that was a that's a cool book, something I liked. Um, and then the next uh, next two deals are actually from the same guy. Or, no, no, sorry, this next deal is from uh, the same guy that I bought kind of the bigger one at the end from. Um, yeah, I, I bought from him first. I got the stuff that I kind of claimed. Uh, so yeah, I claimed a bunch of books before the show from this guy because he has a huge like catalog. Um, I went there and bought him. And then I walked around the show and it, it kind of wasn't all that good. Like, obviously, the stuff I picked up was cool, but, like, nothing crazy I was looking for. So I went back to him uh, here at the end and I spent another $20 with him. Uh, got this Witchblade number 169. It's like a $10 book one I might try and flip. I don't know. Um, yeah, cool cover. Grabbed an Adam Hughes Wonder Woman number 194. Trying to get a bunch of these. Trying to get all of them, but uh, this guy has. He just got a collection with a ton of these so hopefully i can keep picking through those uh i got this mark specter moon knight number 50 pretty cool and then also grabbed this batman beyond uh number four from the first volume with the demon there really cool this is by far like the cheapest one from this run too which i'm happy about because i like the demon so got those for 20 and then i got another 20 dollar haul here of just daredevil some really cool stuff here. First two were cheaper. 
279 and 278 just some more run filler but I got a couple cool ones here number 141 this is the third appearance of bullseye um, pretty decent shape too got some spine takes but uh, the condition I like to buy so yeah that was really cool and third appearance of bullseye that's pretty early his first appearance isn't crazy expensive uh, it's 131 that's around a 200 dollar issue so hopefully I'll get that at some point but yeah I got the third appearance there and then I uh, also grabbed this number 41 um, which is like by far the earliest issue I have um, not amazing shape Got some, got a little crease here, kind of rough up top, but it was cheap and $20 for all those I thought it was an awesome deal. That third bullseye is like a $15, $20 buck on its own, so I was happy to uh, get that deal for 20 keep working on that deal, Daredevil run. Uh, but now, for this bigger haul, I spent $80 on all these books, um, and like I said, um, I bought this from this guy in my last video at the... Uh, the last show I was at, and he just has a huge database of comics, and they're all priced, and they're a lot of them are accurately priced, well priced. So I went through them, sent him a message, uh, and claimed some books, and just paid for them at this next show. So E I for all these. This is kind of where the bulk of my cash went to. I didn't. <laughs> this kind of knocked me out for the show. I hadn't even gone there yet. Um, but I was happy about it because I got some really good stuff here. So we'll start, I got some uh, some more demons, if you saw my last video, um, I got some really solid uh, deals on this uh, 90s demon run, and I got some more here, a lot of the later issues. So there's 42, these are awesome covers too, 43, 44, I don't know who does the art on this, um, 52. This one's really cool. 53, these were all a dollar too. And 54. I think the total came out to 92 or 95. So got a nice little bit there off at the end. Uh, grab this Miss Marvel number 13. Just like the cover. Got a couple of Captain Americas here from the original run. Uh, number 175. This is just like Daredevil, you know, I'm kind of, I'd love to, you know, put as much of this together, together as I can. Um, but it's not the main thing I'm working on, so mainly buying it at shows, finding decent deals on it, that kind of thing. Uh, then also got this 201, which uh, kind of looks like Kirby, right? So, it's cool there. I think that's probably his Jack Kirby, right? I don't see anything, but it looks like Kirby. Uh... And I got a couple more Daredevils as well. Uh, number 127. And uh, got this 85. Kind of in rougher shape, but I don't know. It's five bucks for, you know, pre-100. I thought that was cool. Got a few Deathstroke books here. Uh, Deathstroke Inc. number nine. The Derek True variant. Uh, Deathstroke number 5 from the first volume of the New 52. Uh, this is a pretty cool uh, story. I read this, both these trades. That was a fun one. Really like violent too. It was awesome. And uh, I was really stoked to get this for a buck. Uh, Deathstroke, this is from the Terminator run when they switched over to just Deathstroke. Uh, this is number 53. I've talked about this run a bunch. Obviously Deathstroke's one of the main thing I, things I buy. Uh, I'm trying to complete this run, you know, just because I like collecting comic books but i also need to get the back half of this run because issues 35 through 60 are not uh in any trades and i'd like to read it so i need like another six or seven issues now i think to finally sit down and read those so getting closer there and um, then i got a couple of adam hughes wonder woman's here got number 192 and a cooler one that i thought would be worth more um that 192 is only like four or five dollars that's why i grabbed it this one was like seven or eight, uh, number 141. And I thought it was worth more because usually the ones with Superman do pretty good. Um, I mean, it's probably worth more than the seven bucks I paid for it, but I thought it'd be more like a $25 book. It's probably more like 12, but you know, not bad. Cool cover, Adam Hughes. I like that stuff, so grab that one. 
Then I got this uh, Batman Beyond uh, number 15. This is from volume two. Anything from these first two volumes, I'm uh, I'm going to try and grab. I'm actually reading through the compendium right now. Haven't gotten to this issue yet, but uh, it's been fun. Pretty cool read. And then the rest of this is Spawn. The last book is the big one that made it the, uh, the $80, but get going here. 340 this is a variant. I forget who the uh, cover artist is, but one I didn't have. 325 Number 64 I think those were $2 a piece. Uh, this one was only like 3 bucks, so I grabbed it. Got number 107 I think it was $7. Really cool cover. Anytime Spawn has like a cool gun, I think it's an awesome cover. And then the last book here is uh, Spawn 151. It's the wraparound cover variant. Um, I haven't taken a look at it yet. So why don't we do it together here? Pull it out. Nice and careful. So here's Spawn 151. Looks pretty cool. Oh, let's be careful about this expensive book. Uh, pretty cool cover there. Violator in there. I think that's Angela on the left. That's pretty cool. I think that's uh, Philip Tan. So it's spawn 151. And that one was, uh, it said it on the bag here, $30. Which is pretty solid. I think it's worth like, maybe more like $40, $45. So uh, happy to get it in this, you know, haul for 80 bucks, so happy about that, uh, but that's it for the show, um, a lot of cheaper stuff, um, but did get this cool book here, so overall pretty happy with it, a uh, decent show, um, as far as future videos, um, I've got a really big Invincible book sitting next to me, and I got some really nice ones coming in, so uh, within the next uh, probably four or five days, I'll probably get a nice pick up video of some really cool stuff so uh yeah be on the lookout for that um and as always if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe comment all that stuff and uh thanks for watching